Hi, I'm Gary from Martin Lynch and & Sons and today we're looking at a very small add-on accessory for the Icom range of radios. This is a little meter which displays the power SWR amongst other things. It's really, really very useful. Now I thought this would be a simple video to, to make, but oh boy, was I wrong. I've even had to make some notes. So let's get started. Okay, so the meter itself is based on something that is called a, an M5. Now that's essentially a, a microprocessor, a programmable microprocessor with a little screen on it. Now, um, Richard VE2DX has written some software which is really, really good, then 3D printed and designed some modules that then clip onto this. And in this particular case, this is sat now with three 3.5 ports along the back here, and they're actually CIV ports or CI5 ports. So this enables you to uh, Bluetooth to something like a 705, which doesn't have CIV, uh, CIV port, and then you can have complete RF isolation to whatever device you are uh, you like so that can be a third party or icon civ product so something like maybe perhaps a zero loop or a step ir or or something like that can now be controlled via this little meter and the 705 so you know that's that's quite interesting in itself now there are a range of hubs available not just the little meter which i'll show you on here um, these are little bluetooth hubs as well and there are two versions one's got usb as well as bluetooth we're just talking with richard about these at the moment and we've got some other things going on so i won't mention these just yet um, maybe next next time or something like that but they are available but the meter itself is actually really really useful so let's have a look at the display and i'll show you how to use sort of some of the menu okay so we turned everything around we've got cameras on just about everything Quick whiz over to the meter first, I think, is probably the wisest thing to do. So we're just going to press the middle button, okay, and we're going to scroll up and down the menu until you see, um, let me try and get that in focus, um, the radio selection. And you press the middle button there, and we're now going to scroll up and down using these side buttons until, in this case, we're, we've got the 705 connected, and we're going to connect via Bluetooth. So we're going to say select. The meter will turn off and it should then come up with 705 in the corner there and you get a little Bluetooth light flashing up in the side there. Now we're going to go over to the radio so we need to go to menu and then set Bluetooth set make sure Bluetooth is on auto connect is on and then pairing and connect and then it's actually found the meter already there and we're just going to tap on the meter and it says connect yes and it's now connected so on the meter itself now you can see here that we've we've now got the frequency displayed down the bottom we've got the uh, the signal sort of strength and we've got ls um, b um, so mode sort of selected so we've got everything up and running the one thing that uh, richard ve2dx said to, to me to do because it will make the meter slow and that is to go into the menu settings on your on your radio go into set and then scroll until you get to connectors select civ and make sure that civ transceive is off okay once you've actually done that then it doesn't overload the 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 uh, Bluetooth bus. So now everything now is up and running. Um, we've now got, um, say, so the meters displaying as it should, and you can see on the radio that um, if I move the the display on the on the radio, you'll see also that the the display on the meter is uh, is changing. So we've we've connected the the two together now so we'll have a quick whiz through the menu so if you press if you want to get to the main menu on this you press the center button if you want to scroll through the the, the four display types you use the buttons on on the edge here so we can i'm just going through to the to the right here so you can go bar graphs um, if it will go there you go slightly different bar graph 
and then we get back to the standard sort of needle displays and there are two needle displays and two bar graph displays now i quite like the needle um, uh, display now why would you want this one you can clear the display quite a lot with the 705 uh, and actually have this on, on the side and, and give you the, all the bits and pieces that you need and you can use the full width then of the the 705 screen for things like the spectrum display uh, and and etc but also if you've got if you're keeping a log if you're out in the field you're keeping a log and you've got a pad there you can actually have this just sitting you know on the pad as it as it were um, and you've got lots and lots of information here the mode the actual frequency the signal strength all these sorts of things all actually um, displayed on the page as it were so really, really useful. There are tons and tons of things on the menu on this that um, that are either to, you know to be implemented or have already been implemented and can be used in various forms. I mean, I've got a, like I said earlier, I thought this was going to be a really straightforward video to do, but it turns out actually it's a it's quite a um, a, a useful meter that does tons and tons of things. And as I say, I particularly like the um, these three ports on here. Now I'll turn the meter off, actually. There's, there's these three CIV ports. Now this means that you can connect this to all sorts of things like step IRs, maybe the zero loop, you know, all sorts of things, or control uh, small amplifiers and that sort of stuff. Um, anything that supports the CIV, CI5, uh, you know, protocol, then whether it be ICOM or third party, as long as it supports that, then you can actually use this. So it means that the 705 now actually has the CIV ports. And I think that in itself is very, very useful. Now I said earlier on about the, the other things, um, these, I did said about these, essentially that is part of the meter without the, without the actual meter on it. So we've got on this, it's a Bluetooth and it allows you to have a whole host of these little CIV ports. So these are soon to sort of come. Um, we're, we're just speaking with Richard about them, as I said earlier. So the, I'll show you what's actually in here as well, very quickly before I go. Um, you can sort of see, this is the, the, the basic M5 unit. And this is the, the VE2 DX, sort of 3D printed and they're nicely printed now. It looks like actually they're the, uh, they've done with the, the liquid rather than the, the uh, filament uh, 3D printing. So they're absolutely lovely, really, really nicely done. And then the actual units themselves just simply, simply plug into the top board and that gives you this nice little unit. Yeah, really exciting product. It does a lot more than I thought and um, I'm learning quite a lot actually doing this, so it's really interesting product. So they're available on our website. Um, please pop along to www.hamradio.co.uk. Um, just do a little search there for VE2DX and uh, you'll, you'll see these little meters and all the other bits and pieces as they come in. So yeah, look forward to, uh, to selling a few of these and if you need anything do give us a call at the store on 0345 2300599 and uh, I'll see you next time.